Hi everyone, Dr. Keller Wortham here. So how's your heart? Healthy? You think so, huh? Well, guess what? I think I can safely say that probably over half of you watching this video already have cardiovascular disease right now. Most of you don't even know it. And even more of you watching have high blood pressure. And you might not know that either. In fact, if you're over 55, there's almost an 80% chance you have high blood pressure. That's right. And high blood pressure is no joke because it can kill you. In fact, there's an unfortunate likelihood it's what will. You see, high blood pressure is a major risk factor for heart disease. And heart disease is by far the number one cause of death in the United States. And sadly, the numbers are rising, not falling. But I'm here today to share the good news, not just the bad. The CDC and American Heart Association tell us that 80% of cardiovascular disease, including heart disease and stroke, are preventable. That's why I want you to watch this video. I wanna make it clear that one of the most important things you can do to live longer and live better is get your blood pressure down into a healthy range. And it's surprisingly easy to do. So my promise to you right now if you give me the next few minutes of your time, I'll show you exactly what to do to naturally lower your blood pressure into the normal, healthy range, and then maintain that healthy blood pressure. Pretty bold promise, huh? Well, wait, it gets even better because I'm gonna show you how to do this quickly. And by quickly, I don't mean months. In most cases, you can drop your blood pressure in just weeks or even days and keep it down. And here's another promise. Today you're gonna to learn something I learned from the world's top cardiologists. It's a proven way that just about anyone can make themselves heart attack proof. That's right. Oh, and by the way, at the same time, you'll also be making yourself virtually stroke proof, eliminating two of the three top killers in the US. Best of all, I'm not talking about a new drug or a medical procedure, far from it, in fact. I'm talking about a solution developed by the world's top holistic cardiologists. They have devised a simple strategy I'm going to show you today that naturally changes your biochemistry, making your arteries virtually bulletproof. So why am I talking about this now? Well, recently the American Heart Association published some really big news that changed everything they drastically revised much of what we doctors have been told about blood pressure and its effect on heart health, heart attacks, and overall longevity. They substantially lowered target blood pressure goals, which in turn meant that most doctors, including me, were drastically under-treating high blood pressure. So we were basically failing at our job to ensure the best health and longest lives for our patients. Today we know that the damaging effects of high blood pressure start at much lower levels than previously thought, which has completely redefined the blood pressure danger zone. Since then, doctors everywhere have been scrambling to get the new information out, going on national news programs, holding seminars, writing books, or doing videos like this one. Why the urgency? Because we're concerned, very concerned, not only is heart disease the leading cause of death for millions of Americans, the numbers are growing. But despite this effort, so much misinformation is still out there on how to protect our most vital organ, our heart. And that's why I'm here today, to provide you with facts that could save your life and the lives of your loved ones. So please, stay with me. Okay, here is a critical fact you need to know. High blood pressure is a root cause of most heart issues. You see, high blood pressure is linked to cardiovascular disease, which means many heart attacks and strokes are triggered by high blood pressure. And what's frustrating for us physicians is that even though heart disease is mostly preventable, it remains the number one killer in the US because Americans simply don't take it seriously. In the US, someone has a heart attack every 40 seconds. And in about that same amount of time, someone dies from cardiovascular disease. So how is it that high blood pressure kills you? Well, it comes down to the health of your arteries. That's the real issue. More than 300 years ago, an English physician observed, a man is as old as his arteries. And that is as true today as it was then. 
You see, high blood pressure is a circulatory issue that not only puts your heart at risk, but also your brain for stroke. In fact, it affects your entire body, basically anywhere you have blood vessels. High blood pressure is a leading cause of vision and kidney problems, of nerve pain like neuropathy, and it can also lead to life-threatening blood clots and even erectile dysfunction. You see, circulatory problems are much more than just cold feet and hands. It's such a serious health issue that everyone out there should be doing something about it. So let's take care of it, shall we? All right, first off, let's cover some blood pressure basics. When we measure blood pressure, what we're really measuring is the pressure your blood exerts on your arterial walls. You may have noticed that when your blood pressure is measured, you're given two numbers. That top number is called systolic blood pressure, which is the pressure during the peak contraction of your heart. The bottom number is called diastolic, and it's the pressure in your arteries when your heart is at rest. Both are important. But the top one, your systolic, is the one we'll focus on today because it dramatically affects your relative risk for heart disease and stroke. Now take a look at this. Here's a simple chart reflecting the new blood pressure health standards. The new studies concluded that any systolic blood pressure above 120 drastically increases your chances of heart attack and heart failure. This revelation was a big cause for concern for doctors. It means that now over half of Americans over age 40 are classified as having elevated blood pressure. And as I mentioned earlier, almost 80% of people over 55 are now considered to have high blood pressure. These people are all at an increased risk for heart attack, heart failure, and stroke, as well as all of the other conditions we mentioned earlier. It's very scary. Up until these studies came out, it was thought that a systolic blood pressure up to 140 was really not that big a deal. It just needed to be watched. We now know that is not true. And that's why I'm here today, to get the word out. Because chances are, either you are at risk or you soon may be, unless you address it. In fact, the new guidelines state that even with a systolic blood pressure of 130, you're now considered to be medically hypertensive. Another thing I want to make clear is that heart attacks, stroke, and heart disease are not just a men's issue, as many people believe. Most people don't know that more women than men die of heart disease in the U.S. That's right. Now let's take a quick look at the real numbers, and then I'll explain why people thought of heart disease as a male disease for so many years. Over 50% of American women will develop cardiovascular disease in their lifetime and at younger and younger ages than ever. Women tend to think breast cancer is the leading cause of mortality for women, when in fact 13 times more women will die of heart disease than breast cancer. And two in three American women have at least one major risk factor for heart disease and 71% of women who experience early warning signs of a heart attack do not display the typical male symptoms like the dramatic clutching of the chest. It's more subtle for women, with high blood pressure being the leading trigger. This difference and others are why heart disease was considered for decades to be mostly a male issue. So for women watching this video, Keep in mind that the single biggest health threat you will face in your lifetime is easily preventable if you just follow the strategies I'm going to share with you today. Now I'm going to be dispelling more heart health myths and misconceptions throughout this show. What probably doesn't shock you is that many of these myths are fueled by big pharma and the food industry for their own interests, not yours, including some dietary myths that may literally be killing you. And heart disease starts young. So whether you're 25 or 75, please keep watching because I promise you, it's not all doom and gloom. In fact, it's quite the opposite. And even if your blood pressure is currently in the normal range, listen up because blood pressure tends to increase as you age. I'm going to show you how to beat the aging game and keep your blood pressure in that healthy range even as you get older. Now, if you're overweight or you smoke, your odds of developing high blood pressure are even greater. In fact, I can almost guarantee you it will be an issue you have to deal with down the line. And for those of you who try to live a healthy lifestyle, don't think because you run or hit the gym, you can't get high blood pressure. 
Blood pressure goes up from everyday things you'd never expect, including sleep disorders, stress and anxiety, and even just genetics. Okay, after all that, I'm sure I've probably scared you to death. No pun intended. But now that I have your attention, I'm here to tell you there is no reason to panic. I'm going to show you how to turn it all around and get back on track quickly just by improving this one little thing that has such an incredible effect on the circulatory health of your entire body. So let's look at what the top holistic cardiologists tell us to quickly lower blood pressure into that healthy range and keep it there without drugs or a medical procedure. To make things a little clearer, I'm going to use some cool medical animation so you'll be able to see what's quite possibly going on in your body right now. Okay. So this is where we need to start. The inner wall of your arteries. This is what I'm talking about today. Why should you care about it? Well, whether or not that inner wall is healthy determines whether you enjoy a long, healthy, vibrant life or you die an early death from heart disease. And here's why. Most people believe that heart attacks are caused by a gradual buildup of plaque in the arteries. But actually, that's not quite true. You see, 90% of all heart attacks are caused by the rupture of this thin inner layer, which releases chunks of that plaque into the artery, causing a blood clot to form, which cuts off blood flow to the heart. And that right there is why heart attacks happen. And what often causes this event to happen is high blood pressure. Let's look at blood flowing in an artery and I'll show you why. Okay, here you see the inside of an artery. You see there's already plaque growth, but blood flow is still normal. Now with high blood pressure, there's a constant shearing away of this inner arterial wall. This, coupled with the inflammation from the plaque, causes the protective coating over the plaque to get thinner and thinner until finally it's so paper thin that it ruptures. And this rupture quickly precipitates the formation of a blood clot, which grows quickly. And if that artery is one of your coronaries, the tiny arteries of your heart, then in a matter of minutes, you've cut off blood flow to your heart. So it's crucial to understand that this rupture of the thin wall over the plaque and the clotting that ensues is what blocks blood flow to the heart and causes a heart attack. But here's the good news. Well, not just the good news, the great news. The world's top cardiologists have shown that if you strengthen and protect this inner lining of the arterial wall called the endothelium, I know that's a new word to most people, but it's a good one to know. If you strengthen your endothelium, you can prevent a plaque rupture and therefore prevent heart attacks. All you need to do is give the cells in that endothelial wall what they need each day. So how do you do this? Stay with me because this is really important to understand if you want to live a long, strong, and active life. You do it by protecting your endothelium. Again, I'm talking about this tiny little layer that lines the inside of all of the arteries in your body, from your heart to your brain, head to toe. Cardiologists call it the guardian of your blood vessels. Your endothelium guards the artery walls by doing something that's actually quite magical. To keep itself healthy and keep your blood flowing, it creates a powerful molecule of gas called nitric oxide. Maybe you've heard of nitric oxide, but if you haven't, I'll make it really simple. If you provide your body with the right amounts of natural plant nitrates each day from eating certain foods, or you get them through a concentrated natural plant nitrate supplement, the type we'll be talking about in a moment, then your endothelium will use those nitrates to produce and release nitric oxide to heal and strengthen the walls of your arteries, reducing the chance of a rupture. This additional nitric oxide generated from the plant nitrates in your diet is so important because it keeps your blood flowing and your blood pressure down by doing three great things for your arteries. The first thing nitric oxide does is it signals your arteries to open up or dilate relaxing the muscles of the artery wall, which naturally lowers blood pressure, allowing the blood to flow more freely. For example, this is what allows your arteries to relax and dilate when you exercise, delivering more blood, oxygen, and nutrients to your muscles, including your heart. However, when nitric oxide levels are low, the arteries become stiff and then they don't dilate properly. 
This increases blood pressure and can damage the endothelium. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. The second thing nitric oxide does is it keeps your blood flowing smoothly by keeping your arterial lining smooth and slippery, which helps prevent the formation of those dangerous blockages. And the third thing it does is it prevents inflammation and plaque from further developing on the inner walls of your arteries. And over time, keeping your nitric oxide levels up may even help reverse that plaque buildup. So if you get your nitric oxide levels right, you will strengthen your endothelium, your arterial guardian, preventing those tears and blood clots that lead to heart attacks. It's pretty amazing how the body can heal itself if you give it the right stuff. But let's see what most people's arteries look like when they don't give their body what it needs and end up producing insufficient amounts of nitric oxide. When you don't have enough nitric oxide, your body enters a vicious cycle that breaks down your arterial health, leading to the heart disease that 50% of Americans have. And as you can see here, can lead to an eventual heart attack. Here's how that typically happens. Low nitric oxide levels, from all those things we discussed earlier, cause your blood pressure to go up. And that high blood pressure then further damages your endothelium, causing it to produce even less nitric oxide, further worsening this cycle. This is why by age 50, most people are here, where they're producing less than half of the nitric oxide levels they did when they were young. If you don't get your nitric oxide levels up, this downward spiral continues. Less nitric oxide causes your endothelium to get injured more easily, which means it produces even less nitric oxide. This further injures the endothelium, causing more small cracks to form, which leads to more plaque buildup on the inside of the wall. This decreases your nitric oxide even further until you finally don't have enough left to protect yourself. When this happens, and that plaque destabilizes and ruptures, you can have a heart attack. Again, this is the main way heart attacks happen. This is how people die. You can not only stop this cycle, but as top cardiologists have shown, you can actually reverse it, getting back to healthier, more youthful arteries just by increasing your nitric oxide levels. As one of the world's top cardiologists and esteemed founder of the Cleveland Clinic, Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn puts it, you will interrupt this cycle and you will not be eroding or thinning out the cap over your plaque you will strengthen the endothelium cap over the plaque so much so that it cannot rupture. And if it cannot rupture, then you have made yourself heart attack proof. Okay, so now that you understand how nitric oxide lowers blood pressure and improves your arteries and heart health at the same time, here's my plan to make this incredible science work in your body. The cardiologist's three-step plan. Again, this plan for lifelong healthy blood pressure does not involve a procedure or even a drug. There is only one way. You're going to do it naturally. And the best part is that you don't have to take my word for it. You can prove to yourself that it works. Just follow these three simple steps while measuring your blood pressure at home and watch it drop into a normal, healthy range and stay that way. The basis of this three-step plan comes from top holistic cardiologists around the world who get amazing results within their practices. They are not in the pockets of the pharmaceutical industry, the government, the food industry, or anyone else. And included in this plan is a really important shortcut you're going to love. I call it an easy insurance policy for your heart. Something to ensure that your arterial walls and that precious endothelium I've been talking about are getting the nitric oxide levels they need each day to keep your blood pressure in a healthy range. It's a natural blood pressure lowering supplement developed by My Best Heart, and it's supported by seven different US patents. Here's a supplement. The main ingredient in here is red spinach, one of the highest nitrate containing plants on the planet and nitrates are what your body stores and converts to nitric oxide. This product is incredible. I take it every day and I recommend it to all of my patients with elevated blood pressure. I even recommend it to people whose blood pressure is in the normal range because it's such a great insurance policy for your heart. So no matter what you eat or how active you are that day, this product is going to help you keep those critical nitric oxide levels up. I'll tell you more about it in just a minute.
But first, let's dive right into the cardiologist's three-step plan to lower blood pressure and keep it at optimal levels. Okay, step one, diet. I know everyone hates to talk about diet, but I'm not gonna go crazy here. I'm just gonna give you a few easy dietary tweaks I want you to make when it comes to your food choices, and especially your salt intake. There's a lot of misinformation and myths when it comes to diet and heart health. But what I'm gonna share with you is all evidence-based information. I don't rely on TV or internet health gurus, and neither should you. So let's look at the science and the facts. I'm going to address the three biggest myths out there about diets and heart health. The first myth is that paleo and keto diets are heart healthy. They're not. Meat-loving diets have become popular in recent years, and yes, some of them have certain benefits, but there are no long-term studies showing them to be heart healthy. Far from it, actually. There are many reasons to be concerned that they actually are harmful to your heart, to your endothelium in particular, because they're high in saturated fat. And saturated fat is highly inflammatory to your precious endothelium. The second myth is that vegetarians don't get heart disease. Many studies have clearly shown that a healthy, predominantly plant-based diet consisting mostly of fruits, vegetables, nuts, legumes, and whole grains is the healthiest for your heart and best for lowering your blood pressure and risk of heart attacks. That is a fact. However, an unhealthy plant-based diet, one with juices or other sweetened drinks, fries, sweets, or refined grains and vegetable oils, can be just as bad for your heart as the high-fat meat diet. Dairy can also be bad for your heart, especially cheese. So cut down on these, or better yet, cut them out altogether. You don't need it. Then the next thing I'd like you to do with your diet is to add some of nature's top nitrate-rich foods. My top five are spinach, kale, Swiss chard, arugula, and a green called rocket, which is similar to arugula and grated in salads. If you're not sure you can get enough of these in your diet, don't sweat it. To ensure you're getting enough daily plant nitrates to keep your nitric oxide levels where they need to be, you have that super high nitrate red spinach supplement I just talked about. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. The third myth is about salt. I hear it all the time. I don't have high blood pressure, so I don't have to worry about salt. Or the other one, I don't salt my food, so I'm okay. These are total misconceptions. The bad news on salt is coming, guys. You'll be hearing about it soon in the press, but I'm telling you right now, for people who don't yet have high blood pressure, lowering sodium intake will go a long way towards preventing the blood pressure increases that come with age. And for all of those who already have elevated blood pressure right now, sodium is a big concern. It can certainly keep your blood pressure high, and it even increases the risk of developing other conditions, like kidney disease. So please reduce your sodium. Shoot for 1,500 milligrams a day or less. That's ideal for most adults. And remember, more than 70% of the sodium we consume comes from processed and restaurant foods, not a salt shaker. So read food labels and try to avoid any foods in boxes and cans. Think you can't do it? Well, here's a tip. Instead of cutting out salt all at once, I found it helps to ease into reducing salt. Cut back gradually to allow your taste buds to catch up. And try adding new non-salt spices. There are so many of them and your palate will adjust over time. And lastly, if you do use salt, then make sure you add more potassium-rich fruits and vegetables to your diet. Potassium lessens the effect of sodium on blood pressure. Fortunately, that red spinach in My Best Heart is already rich in potassium, so taking that daily can help you get your potassium levels on track too. Which brings us to step two and that's the blood pressure lowering supplement I've been talking about with clinically proven ingredients from My Best Heart. It's a real game changer because of how quickly and effectively it activates nitric oxide production in your body. This is no ordinary supplement. It regulates your blood pressure to meet your needs. In most cases, dropping it to a normal range within a week or so and keeping it there. Every adult should be taking My Best Heart. Most of us don't get nearly enough plant nitrate-rich foods in our diet. And this does all the work for you. And it works amazingly fast with no side effects because it's derived from red spinach. And you can't eat too much spinach. The body takes what it needs. There are no chemicals, no worrisome names you can't even pronounce, just a few capsules in the morning and you're set for the day. In fact, let me show you what's in it. 
This is red spinach. It's consumed throughout Asia, where heart disease rates are much lower than in the U.S. These vibrant, edible red leaves are a little bitter, but are actually quite delicious in soups and other dishes. Red spinach is also called amaranth because of the color. It's a member of the plant family Amaranthaceae, which includes 2,500 species ranging from things like regular green spinach to even grains like quinoa. But for naturally lowering blood pressure, red spinach stands alone at the top, partly because of its uniquely high nutritional profile, but more so because it's so high in plant nitrates. Nitrates are the molecules that convert to nitric oxide in your body to lower blood pressure. And red spinach is considered one of the richest sources of nitrates in all of nature. Now, amazingly, the amount of heart-healthy plant nitrates you get in just one serving of My Best Heart is equivalent to three large heads of red spinach. They achieve this high amount of plant nitrates in just these small capsules using a unique extraction process. But in addition to all those healthy nitrates, it also helps lower blood pressure with high levels of other nutrients found naturally in red spinach. These include potassium, which, as I just mentioned, counteracts the effects of sodium on your blood pressure, magnesium, which your body needs in adequate amounts to maintain a healthy blood pressure, but over 70% of us are deficient in, and a rich combination of vitamin C, vitamin A, iron, and folic acid in just the right amounts to help blood vessels relax, improve blood flow, and naturally lower your blood pressure. The My Best Heart formula includes all of this, plus what I call a deficiency blend. It's a blend of certain nutrients that most Americans are deficient in, but are all essential to supporting conversion of nitrates to nitric oxide. All this together is why My Best Heart is so safe and effective at naturally lowering blood pressure and keeping it in a healthy range, while supporting your arteries, including that all-important endothelium. And there are so many other important health benefits from getting your nitric oxide levels and blood pressure back into the normal range. These include, number one, better performance in the bedroom. That's right. Nitric oxide directly helps erections and decreases erectile dysfunction. That's because nitric oxide is needed for the artery muscles in the penis to relax. This relaxation allows the chambers inside the penis to fill with blood so it can become erect. Bottom line, guys, if your nitric oxide levels are low, then no erection and no fun for you or her. Number two, higher nitric oxide is critical for managing type 2 diabetes. Nitric oxide production is impaired if you have diabetes, which is why diabetics are at such a high risk for high blood pressure, heart disease, and kidney disease. Number three, nitric oxide improves energy. And not just physical energy, but mental energy as well. I call it youthful energy, because when nitric oxide and blood flow return to more youthful levels, you can really feel it in both your body and your mind. And it's not a jittery, short-term energy like stimulants provide. And studies have clearly shown that higher nitric oxide levels improve not just energy, but endurance and stamina, too. And number four. High nitric oxide helps alleviate and prevent muscle soreness because as it increases blood flow and nutrient delivery to muscles, it clears out waste products like the lactic acid that causes muscle fatigue and soreness. So how about that for a tiny molecule of gas? Now do you see why I called it magical? So after you've taken care of your nitric oxide levels, you can move on to step three, the last step in our three-part strategy to improve heart health. This step provides many more benefits than just a stronger heart and lower blood pressure. Step three is getting regular exercise. Now, patients often ask me, what's the best kind of exercise for your heart? Well, when it comes to exercise, there's another widely believed misconception, and that's that only aerobic exercise benefits your heart. Aerobic exercise has always been touted as the exercise of choice for improving heart health. But if you can't do regular cardio because of health reasons or other limitations, or you simply don't like cardio exercise, don't despair. New research suggests that weight training and other forms of resistance training can be just as effective as cardio for protecting your heart against heart attacks and strokes. Best of all, 
You don't need to devote a lot of time to get your heart health benefits. Studies show that just an hour a week of resistance training will make a big difference. Next to daily consumption of plant-based nitrates, exercise is the most essential thing you can do for your heart health. After all, your heart is a muscle, and like all muscle, it requires exercise. So those are my three steps, and they're so easy to adopt. One more time for a review. Step one, cut back on eating meat, dairy, salt, and processed foods, and start eating a more plant-based diet with more greens when you can. Step two, take my best heart with the highest quality plant nitrates in each serving, exactly what you need each day to keep your nitric oxide levels up and help your blood pressure come down and stay in a healthy range. You can learn more about My Best Heart, the blood pressure lowering supplement I take and I recommend to my patients, and a special deal to get started by clicking on the link below. And step three, get regular exercise. Either 150 minutes of aerobic exercise a week, like riding a bike, treadmill, swimming, or even dancing or fast walking, or just 60 minutes a week of resistance training, like weights or exercise bands. It's your choice. Now, before we end today, I just want to remind you that taking care of your heart and blood pressure is not something to put off. It's true that age is a risk factor for a heart attack or a stroke, but that's only because heart disease takes many years to develop. It's happening right now inside you. So plan for the future, or you may not have one. The earlier you adopt my three steps and start using My Best Heart each day, the better. Studies show that even teenagers can have plaque developing on their arteries. So don't wait. Get started now. All you have to do is click the link below where you'll find that special deal to get started. I really hope this video was helpful and answered your questions. We always read the comments and we want to make sure we're providing information you're interested in. Thank you for watching my video on heart health. I'm Dr. Keller Wortham and I will see you soon.